Let us solve this question. If A equals this matrix, prove that A cube minus 6A square plus 7A plus 2I equals 0. Now, how do we go about proving this? Okay. What we will have to find is A cube. We will have to find A cube. Yes, we will have to find A cube. We will have to find A square as well. Okay. So, for finding A cube, obviously, we will need A square. So, we will find A square first. We will find A cube after that. And A is given. I is obviously identity matrix of third order. And uh, once we have found a cube and a square, we'll substitute them and get the value, get, prove this expression by substituting, okay. So, let's begin. We have the matrix A in front of us. And a square is simply equal to a times a. What does that give me? This is 1, 0, 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 0, 3. Let's multiply this with 1, 0, 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 0, 3. Let's multiply these two matrices together. What you have is, okay, 1, 0, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 0, 3. So this is 1, 0, 2 gets multiplied with 1, 0, 2. Can I write it in a single step? I think yes. We have practiced a lot of questions. This 1 times 1 is 1, 0 times 0, 2 times 2 is 4. 1 plus 4 is 5 actually, right? This is what you get. This gets multiplied with this. 1 times 0 is gone. 0 times 2 is gone. This is also gone. This is 0. So 1 times 2 is 2 plus 0 plus 6. 2 plus 6 is 8 over here, right? Keep checking the calculations. 0 times 1 is 0. 2 times 0 is gone. This is 2, okay? 0, 0 gone. 2 times 2 is 4. This is 4 only. 0 times 2 is gone. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. 2 times 1 is 2 and 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. Okay, what next? 2 times 0 is gone. 0 times 2 is gone. 3 times 0 is gone. This is 0. Very interesting. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 0 plus 9. 4 plus 9 which is 13. This is A square for me. This is matrix A square for me. Can we find a cube as well? Yes, a cube would be a square times a. A cube is a square times a, which can be written as, this is 5, 0, 8, 2, 4, 5, 8, 0, 13 times this matrix a. a is this matrix, which is 1, 0, 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 0, 3, okay? And what is this product equal to? Let's find this product. This is 5 times 1, 0 times 0 gone, 8 times 2. 8 times 2 is 16 plus 5 is 21 over here. This is a cube for me. But next, this row gets multiplied with this. 5 times 0 is gone, 0 times 2 is gone, 8 times 0 is gone. This is 0. Okay. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 0 plus 24. 10 plus 0 plus 24 is 34. Second row gets multiplied first column. 2, 0, 10. So 2 plus 0 plus 10 is 12. 0 plus 8 plus 0. 4 plus 4 plus 15. 8 plus 15. 8 plus 15 is 23. 8 plus 0 plus 26 is 34. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0, okay. 16 plus 0 plus 39, 16 plus 39 is 55. You can observe over here, right? This is what I obtained. So this is the value of A cube. We already have A and we know I. So therefore, LHS. LHS is equal to A power 3 minus 6A square plus 7A plus 2I. This implies a cube. A cube is this matrix over here, which is 21, 0, 34, 12, 8, 23, 34, 0, 55. Okay, minus 6 times a square. So, uh, one of the approaches, one of the steps that I can write here is let's multiply 6 with this a square directly and write that matrix. 
So are we skipping a step? Yes, we can skip that step, I suppose, yes. Six times, this six, five is 30. Six times zero is zero, six times eight is 48. Okay, what next? Six times two is 12. Six times four is 24. Six times five is 30. Six times eight is 48. Six times zero is zero. Six times 13 is 78. That's what we have, right? What about this 7a plus 7 times a? 7 times this matrix. Can I write them by multiplying together? Yes. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 0 is 0. 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 0 is 0. 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 0 is 0. 7 times 3 is 21. This is my matrix over here. What else? 2 times the identity matrix remain. What is the identity matrix? 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is my identity matrix, which is of third order. This is I3, right? That is what is required over here, right? And multiplying that identity matrix is by 2, what you get is, this is 2, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 2. This is what I'll get. Right. What else? Oh, just simply add these matrices together and see what you get. This is 21 minus 30 plus 7 plus 2. So 21 plus 7 is 28 plus 2 is 30. Minus 30 is actually 0. Right? This is what you will get. In the first or first column, what about this element? 0 minus 0 plus 0 plus 0. That's all 0, 0, 0. Okay? This will be 0. 34 minus 48. 34 minus 48 would be minus 14. Plus 14, okay, that becomes a 0. Plus 0 is 0 only. The first row is completely 0, yes. Oh, we were supposed to prove this equals 0 matrix. Yeah, therefore we are getting a 0. In the second row also we should get a 0. Let's see, are we getting a 0 over here? Yes or no? Let's take like this. 12 minus 12 is 0. Plus 0 and plus 0 will be 0. 8 minus 24, 8 minus 24 is minus 16, plus 14 is minus 2, plus 2 is 0. Yes. What else? 23 minus 30 is minus 7, plus 7 is 0, plus 0 obviously 0, right? 34 minus 48, okay, 34 minus 48 is minus 14, plus 14 is 0, plus 0 will also be 0. 0 minus 0 plus 0 plus 0. Next is 0 only. And this element, 55 minus 78. 55 minus 78 would be minus 23. Plus 21 would be minus 2. Plus 2, which is 0 over here. And yes, LHS is equal to this, 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 this is 0, which is the 0 matrix, which is equal to the RHS, hence proved. So this here is actually the I matrix and this here is the zero matrix of whatever order is compatible with this equation that is order three matrix just order three by three identity matrix and order three by three is null matrix as you can see that's the complete proof yes we find a square first we find a cube first and therefore we can solve and prove that this lhs will be equal to this lhs and that is all in this question over here